Sydney McLaughlin Lavroni. Can't wait to represent you guys on the track. Let's do it. Well, she did do it. As expected, Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone is owning the track in Paris. She is, after all, determined to defend her title in her specialty event. After winning gold in Tokyo, Sydney plans to do so again in Paris, even if that means that she has to, once again, outrun the then bronze medalist, Femke Bull. When Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone and Femke Bull meet at the Stade de France before the Olympic 400 meter hurdles final, it will be the first time since 2022 that two of the sport's greatest talents have clashed. The two haven't had much opportunity to race against each other for various reasons. Injury, differing priorities, and vastly contrasting race schedules, to name a few. But here's the thing. The rareness of their encounters has only served to heighten anticipation for one of the showdowns of the Olympics. It is clear, though, that the hierarchy has thus far been irrefutable, as the American never lost a race to the Dutch woman. Still, Bull promises to be her only real gold medal rival in Paris. As you all know, Sydney is the undisputed greatest in her event, the reigning Olympic champion and first woman in history to run below 51 seconds. Winning the 2022 world title where Bull finished a distant second, that staggering performance was a phenomenal feat. Make the second and third fastest 400 meter hurdlers in history look like club runners trailing behind her by clocking a time that would have won the British 400 meter flat title. It is for this reason that her sitting out races in her specialty, even for a couple of months, came as a surprise to many. After choosing to focus on the 400 meter last season, she has raced sparingly this year. In her absence, Bowl has steadily progressed to new heights, breaking the long standing 400 meter indoor world record twice in successive seasons, and warming up for these Olympics by following her American rival as only the second woman ever to break 51 seconds. Where McLaughlin Lavrone is rarely seen in competition, instead saving herself for the biggest stages. A bowl victory on the athletic circuit has fast become one of the sport's most familiar sights. Sydney wasn't just about to sit back and let this happen though. Just when doubts might have begun surfacing over whether she is ready to maintain her dominance in the event, she delivered yet another world record, her fifth in the 400 meter hurdles to win the US trials in 50.65 seconds in June. Needless to say, the rivalry between Sydney and Femke would surely be one of the highlights of this year's games. On that note, Britain's Olympic and World 400 meter hurdles. Finalist Isla Doyle said, what will be interesting is Femke has become used to people not being ahead of her. It's probably the most exciting head to head there has been, but my favorite would be Sydney. I feel with Sydney, there's a bit more in there, and Femke needs to push her stride pattern a bit to challenge. So far, the two world-class hurdlers have delivered to impossibly high expectations of them. As you all know, the Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone and Femke Bull show is well underway at Paris 2024 after both athletic stars comfortably made the women's 400-meter hurdles semifinals. Yes, you heard that right. World record holder and Olympic champion McLaughlin Lavrone breezed through the heats with a 53.60 to make the semis. McLaughlin Lavrone, who broke her own world record at the US trials in June, swayed from side to side at the start and looked completely in the zone as her name was called out. From there, she shot out of the blocks and flew past her rivals in the outside lanes, only stumbling slightly on the final bend before crossing the line first in 53.60. Meanwhile, reigning world champion Bull, who won in Budapest last year in Sydney's absence, ran 53.38 to go fastest overall. Bull and McLaughlin Lavrone then met again on the starting line of the 400 meter hurdles semi-final. In fact, the two set up a mouthwatering showdown before advancing to the women's 400 meter hurdles final at the Paris Games. McLaughlin Lavrone looked imperious in the semi-final, accelerating quickly out of the blocks before building a hefty lead coming off the final bend and cruising home. She cruised to a win in 52.13 seconds at the Stade de France, finishing around 15 meters clear of France's Louise Maraval in second. 
Bolt, who anchored the Netherlands to 4 x 400 mixed relay gold, was similarly dominant in her semi-final, running down the USA's Anna Cockrell in the lane outside her, before coasting to victory in 52.57 seconds. With 52.13, Sydney had the fastest time out of everyone who qualified for the final. Joanna Hayes, who won gold in the 100-meter hurdles at the 2004 Olympics, said that there's something about Sydney that everybody just does not have. Having coached McLaughlin Lavrone early in her professional career, Hayes definitely knows what she's saying. As she explained, it's just the way she strikes the ground. It's different from other people. It's like she's floating on top of the ground. Likewise, Sydney's high school coach Michael McCabe is in awe of the athlete's innate talent on the track. She knows how to pretty much, for however you want to explain it, turn her brain off from the suffering and just race, he said before adding, she knows how to hurt in a race. While McLaughlin Lavrone considered switching to the flat 400 for Paris, she announced in June that she would be sticking with her first love. Her main competition, as you know, is Netherlands Femke Bowl who won bronze in Tokyo and set a European record with a 50.95 at the Resisprint La Chaux de Fonds. Only Bull and McLaughlin Lavrone have ever run this race under 51 seconds. Without question, it will take a perfect race at the perfect time for McLaughlin Lavrone to become the first woman to defend her Olympic gold medal in the 400-meter hurdles. As Arkansas women's track and field coach Chris Johnson said, they don't get no do-overs. Still, he is pretty confident about Sydney's abilities. She's worked on her craft. She's gotten much better technically, he explained, and she executes under stress. She may be super freaked out, McCabe noted, but she almost never allows that to creep into her performance. Others agree with the sentiment. Texas hurdler Akala Garrett, who finished seventh at the US trials, said, she just has so much confidence and trusts herself so much. She doesn't limit herself. Sydney's previous coach, too, knows what Sydney is capable of. When you combine somebody who wants to win and work hard with somebody who is just more naturally gifted than almost anybody I've ever seen, Hayes says, then she's going to win. It goes without saying that Sydney is the clear favorite to bring home the 400 meter hurdles gold. So far, McLaughlin Lavrone is two, zero against Bowl, beating her at the Tokyo Olympics three years ago, and then again at the 2022 World Championships. Iron sharpens iron, McLaughlin Lavrone said after winning her semifinal heat to qualify for the medal race. It's always fun racing the best, and I know we're going to push each other. As Sydney's heat came first, Bowl was asked whether she watched her rival run. Only on the screen, quickly, I mainly focus on my own race," Bull said. And to be fair, you can't really get much out of semifinals anyway. When asked about her thoughts about the final, the Dutch athlete added, Hopefully, I'll be in the best form and shape of my life. As Bull is chasing an Olympic medal in the 400-meter hurdles, McLaughlin Lavrone is committed to stopping this from happening. At the end of the day, Sydney has no intention of slowing down. She has set the world record five times and says her next goal is to drop it below 50 seconds, along with another gold, of course. Watch this to see what happened in Paris so far.